What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. So today is the day we're finally gonna get our lift up, hopefully. Uh, but we have a few things we're gonna do before we do that. We gotta test the concrete to make sure that it is thick enough for our hardware. And then we also brought the generator. Uh, we don't have power out here yet, so we're gonna try to use a generator to get the air compressor going uh, to make sure we can clean out our holes. We're gonna move the tractor and a bunch of other stuff, so stay tuned. So I was worried about space initially, but this is such a big shop setup that we can set the lift up right here and we can actually put like a little welding setup or whatever we decide over there. So it's not really that big of a deal. Well, I mean, like <laughs> we can always move that water tank, or not water tank, gas tank, um, and do something underneath that little covered area. We got, we got so much room and we got that whole other metal building we can use for another shop if we need to. So we're not really worried about space anymore like we thought we would be so, we yeah. got room on room on room Fire up there because we don't have the right end, so we'll get to that another day. I think it's fair to say it's deeper than uh, four inches. Sweet or thicker than four inches. All right, so now that we know that our concrete is more than four inches thick, we can actually put the lift up. So we're gonna clean this up real quick. Last minute, we decided we're gonna be putting the lift this way. We were originally going to put it right there, but uh, we just decided that we wanna put it right here so we can pull a car in from that direction or flip the arms around and pull a car in from this direction because we would have had to fight and cut a trail in back here to be able to uh, pull a car in sideways. So this just makes it a little bit easier. So unfortunately, we didn't have all the hardware we needed. We thought it came with the lift, but being used lift, it didn't. So we just found out that uh, we need to go get hardware for the main cross piece and for mounting the brain for the operation on the side of the lift. So we're gonna run the lows real quick, get everything we need, come back and get with it. Just got back from Harbor Freight, picked up the premium of all premium Harbor Freight hammer drills. So what we're gonna do next is fire up the generator and go ahead and anchor these down. We'll probably only do two today because it's getting dark, but uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, so 
we just hit rebar, which we were really hoping not to. So we're gonna try and drill some other holes so we can get a couple anchors in tonight, just so that it doesn't fall over if we get some heavy winds. And uh, we're gonna go buy a three quarter inch steel bit for drilling through metal and come back and just drill through the rebar where we hit because this slab obviously has rebar in it, which is a good thing because it makes it stronger, but the odds of us getting all the holes without hitting rebar is none. So we're just gonna drill until we hit rebar Hopefully we can find a few holes where we don't and then we'll go get a metal bit tomorrow and drill the rest. All right, so we finally got one through and man, that was a bugger, but we're in. So we're gonna hammer it down and see, well, not see what happens. We're gonna hammer it down and tighten it up. <laughs> It's getting dark, so we're gonna drill a couple more holes and uh, hammer the other ones in. We're not gonna torque anything tonight, though. That should be plenty to keep it from tipping over if it gets windy. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, let us know. And we're really excited to get more set up. So hopefully tomorrow we'll finish putting the lift up and we'll get another video on wiring it all up and doing all that. But thank you guys so much. Don't forget to stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated. See you in the next one. Bye.